With the recent legalization of marijuana in Missouri, driving while under the influence of the drug has become a growing concern for law enforcement, especially when it can be hard to determine the level of impairment. Just like driving while intoxicated, getting behind the wheel when using marijuana can result in fines and even jail time. Our Riley Funk has more. Officers are concerned that the number of people who drive high is on the rise. According to studies, this already has been the case across the country. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration notes the number of weekend nighttime drivers who tested positive for marijuana rose from nearly 9% in 2007 to more than 12% in 2014. The administration also states the number of fatally injured drivers who tested positive for drugs rose from 25% in 2007 to 47 in 2016. In that study, 38% of those who tested positive for drugs were using cannabis. Captain Sean Colley of the Buchanan County Drug Strike Force says he thinks these numbers will continue to be an issue due to the wide availability of marijuana in Missouri. Obviously our concern is that people are going to feel you know, a little bit freer about just using and, and driving and not thinking of that. I, I think that the use is, is definitely different than what you see with other narcotics, but the availability now definitely causes concern that more people are going to be using and then behind the wheel. Kali says officers have faced difficulties in determining if someone is using or not. Discovering whether someone is under the influence can be checked through a field sobriety test, but according to the National Institute of Justice, that isn't always reliable. Kali says with legalized marijuana in place, the key is education for all. It's educating people to you know, not be operating a motor vehicle while using or after using. If you have marijuana in the car, it should be in the proper containers. Uh, sealed and uh, out of reach of the driver or in an area where you know not in the compartment area where it can be accessed by people in the car. A person who has used marijuana can show signs similar to a person who has consumed alcohol including slurred speech, glassy eyes and trouble functioning. The odor of the drug is another sign. Just as with consuming alcohol, it's recommended that those using marijuana find another way to get home rather than driving themselves. Reporting for News Press Now, I'm Riley Funk.